Dress to impress. Dress for success. Words of advice for those entering the working world. But maybe not so much anymore. The largest, oldest law firm in Arizona has done away with their dress code. In the world of law, where they abide by strict dress codes for more than 100 years, this is practically earth-shattering. Depending on where you work, you might be able to get away with a lot when it comes to how you dress. Unless you work in one of the last bastions of the strictest dress codes out there, a law firm. Back in the day when I started, almost everybody wore a tie, they wore a coat. Um, the men did, the women wore suits. In fact, women used to wear these little floppy kind of rosette ties. We always would wear the, the navy blue suit or the black suit with uh, hosiery. Hosiery? What's that? <laughs> At Fenimore Craig, the biggest and oldest law firm in Arizona, they've followed those rules for decades. Firm started in 1884. We're well over 100 years of the law firm. Until something shocking happened. <gasps> Two years ago, they didn't just tweak their dress code, working in an occasional casual day. They tore it up and started over. We started with a blank sheet of paper. Making every day Friday casual, every day jeans day, freeing up these once restricted attorneys, victims of harsh dress code laws, to make their own personal laws on how to dress. Sneakers, jeans, patterns, pullovers, button downs, even a couple who still choose to wear suits. I dress like this because I've done it for 40 years. I'm comfortable. And the announcement was met with cheers. It was part of sort of a generational change in the management. Our management committee started to change, and we started to see more people in Gen X. They wanted employees to be comfortable at work. People do their best work when they feel good about themselves, but also comfortable about how they're working. As long as I got my suit and tie. This doesn't mean they've gotten rid of suits and ties. They're still needed for court appearances and other events. Much of the code is common sense. Some clients want to see you dress casually. You have to sort of gauge that, I think, based on what you know about the client. But I think it's much better to overdress than underdress. One group envious about this, lawyers at other firms. I love going to lunch or grabbing a beer with my buddies after work. When I walk in wearing a polo shirt and they've got a suit on and it's 115, uh, it, there's a pretty big juxtaposition there, so it's a good deal. And when clients see this sign, they most likely wish they had put on jeans too. One of the big, uh, <laughs> one of the big reasons they did this as well is to retain the uh, attorneys yeah. who work there. Sure, they want to keep their staff, and it makes it a happier place to work. And and here I am in my monkey suit. <laughs> and here, every day, it's amazing. Every day, uh, we're so used to dressing up that that's kind of how it is. I can't imagine if they said, "Hey, go ahead, wear jeans." <laughs> I don't think you'd no. do it. I think you'd be one of them. It the would be out. kind of. It would be a little bit jarring. Odd. Yeah, yeah, jarring. The good for them, Fenimore Craig, first class outfit, no doubt about it. Still ahead tonight.